who makes jollof rice without any blended peppers. In my video today, I will be showing you how I made this jollof rice without any blended peppers. Just three real peppers and scotch bonnets and onions. Stay tuned and let's cook together. So, I will be cooking alongside my jollof rice with this um, chicken thigh. So, this chicken thigh, I will be marinating it with the best, you know, seasoning that I've got at home. I've got no cubes, salt, um, black pepper, white pepper, Italian herb, mixed herb. I mean, just name it. I will be using to marinate this and um, garlic powder, ginger powder, which I will be using to marinate this chicken and I will be setting aside for about 30 minutes so guys how are you all doing you're welcome back to my channel to all my returnees i say you're most welcome you know what i've got this massive love for you guys because anytime i see your comments i'm always happy i'm happy because you guys come back to watch your girl and watching me for the first time don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel your subscription will go a long way for me so please stay tuned continue to watch this video please watch it to the end and see what i made out of these two ingredients i said rice and chicken so i'll be setting it as i will set it aside i finished marinating and i'll set it aside for about 30 minutes like i said then i will put on the on the heat some oil and I'll cut some scotch bonnet inside the oil to fry my chicken. I'm not grilling, I'm not boiling. I will be frying the chicken to a golden brown. So with this, all the ingredients stays in the body of the chicken. It will be very, very sweet. So continue to watch and see what I'll be doing or how I will be cooking the jollof rice and the chicken together. So while this is um, frying, I'll be getting what I'll be using to cook my jollof rice. So like I said, I will just be using bell peppers, which is the tatashe, and um, scotch bonnet, which is the rodo. So I'll be cutting them into a sizable cube size. Um, yeah, and some onions. Cut it into very nice, pretty shape. Let's go back and check our chicken. Then I give it a good turn. You can see that it's a little bit golden brown. Turn it and I'll still come back and turn it anyway because I really want it to be really dry. You can see it's ready now. So I'll be getting, I'm getting it out of the oil and I will set aside then we'll start cooking our jollof rice so in my pot of jollof rice I already have my um, tin tomato which is the tomato puree onions which I had fried just um, for about two three minutes and I've poured my um, pe uh, thrill pepper that's the green yellow and red and I'll be frying and I've put my scotch bonnet inside So I won't be frying this um, pepper for it to be too soft, just a little bit. It's going to be a little bit crunchy because I'm still going to put my rice inside. Now I'm um, seasoning it. I'll be putting um, I've put no cubes. I've put um, jollof rice. Um, I have got this jollof rice condiment, and um, which other seasoning did I put? I think I put um, I've put thyme. And I will be, and I've added some salt into it. So we'll stir and allow it to fry for about five to ten minutes. Then I will pour my rice. Give it a good stir. So in this jollof rice, I'm not going to be using any stock. 
you know, meat stock or chicken stock i'm not going to be using i'm going to be using just water And my, um, I need mean, to let you know, I've used the oil, which I used to fry the chicken, to fry the pepper and the tomato puree. So the sweetness of the chicken is still in the oil. So I'll be covering for it to steam. You know, naturally you don't really need so much water to cook your jollof rice. You need, I really need the steam and let it cook on the very you know, low light. So look at, I'm now going to be adding my chicken, which I've earlier fried. I'll be adding it to my jollof rice and I'll cover for it to steam, further steam so that the rice can cook all the way. Voila, look at it. It's so nice. The rice is getting soft now, so I'm going to be turning everything together. The chicken... The, the, the sweetness of the chicken is going to mix with the rice. The color of this rice is so beautiful because the, the, the color of jollof rice itself is quite, um, you know, it's kind of orangey. Now I've got my colors of peppers inside. That's the green, yellow, and um, red. Guys, you can see how I am enjoying. If you want to enjoy like this, please replicate this dish in your home. And I'll tell you, you will really, really enjoy it. So guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate you watching this video till this moment. Thank you so much. So I will still further, you know, steam this um, rice for it to come you know so that it can get softened really really well before i will be serving so guys what do you think about this video what do you think about this dish that i have you know brought your way today please let me know in the comment section write me a beautiful comment give me a good thumbs up like share this video i really appreciate it so so like come your way next time when I will be bringing another beautiful recipe your way. Take care. God bless. Bye for now.